Hey guys, it's me, Tailman. This one's Happy Apple Fur, and today we have a new gun. Paper one, at least. And this one is the MAC-10. Yep. Now you're probably wondering, why is it so abnormally huge? Well, the MAC-10, this one is the least, is based off the 45 caliber slash 9mm version. The one you're probably used to seeing, at least the small one, is probably the MAC-11, MAC-12, the more smaller 380 version. I can't remember which one for sure, but I know the, the, the 380 version is a lot smaller than this one. But I like the uh, 45 slash 9 mil version, that's why I made this one, the MAC-10. So, there we go. Let's just uh, show some of the details. As you can see, this little doodad right here is a little place where you'd mount a cloth and it makes like a fort four grip, makeshift cloth fore grip, because this thing has a very fast rate of fire, around 960 rounds a minute, so that's pretty fast firing, and so, you know, I don't know why they even bother putting sights on this thing, it's such a small gun, you don't even need to aim, it's just spray and pray, but, you know, good to have sights, just in case, for long distance, <laughs> so, as you can see here, uh, like in my usual stupor, I forget to plan ahead, and so this selector switch is permanently set on full auto, the other side is semi-auto but I can't really rotate it because reasons uh, you also have your fire and safe mode which does move right now it is on fire then safe fire safe you also have a trigger that leads to another surprising uh, feature I managed to implement on this gun you have your sights if I can at least line them up there we go Yep, they're not exactly the clearest sights, just like on the real thing. You also have a bolt that also uh, shows the bullet and the chamber, like on the real thing. Magazine has one bullet for some strange reason, because, you know. <laughs> it also has a foldable stock. <clears throat> there we go. Which, there, my goodness, this gun's gonna come out of frame. Yep. There we go. In the stock. Well, actually, there we go. I prefer the stock folded because of, it's more easier to hold. And yeah, there we go. What am I else am I missing? The sights. I already showed you the sights. Oh yeah, here's the little feature I was talking about. The reason why there's a trigger that actually functions is because, like on the real Mac, the Mac 10 is an open bolt weapon, meaning you have to have this thing open for it to shoot. And when you pull the trigger, there we go. Like, I'm not even holding it. I'm actually pulling the trigger to release the bolt. So again, there we go. Yep, this gun is an open bolt weapon, so naturally, you have to open the bolt and to shoot it, boom, you have to pull the trigger. Also, this gun can be field stripped. Yes, somehow I managed to make this gun be able to be field stripped. So let me show you that. Take off the magazine. There you go. To field strip this weapon, you simply just pull out this pin right here. There you go. And the gun comes apart. There we go. You can hear it. See the inside where the trigger is. This is just a catch for the bolt. Pull it forward, and the bolt goes forward. That's it. And you can see how where the why it's such a long stock. I don't. I'm not sure if that's how it is in the real gun, but I think it's like the things are on the side. Whatever. Here's the inside of the gun. There we go. You have your spring, which is cardboard, trapped in tape, which actually surprisingly works. You can actually move the bolt handle. Move this back. Bolt handle. There we go. And here's the bolt. Not the most uh, prettiest bolt, but it works. The reason why there's a piece of tape here is because the pressure actually causes it to bend, and you need some support in this little area here, so that's about it. That's why there's a piece of uh, paper clip. Like I said, I'm not the best gun maker. I, I can always stick with paper. I need to use some offshore materials, so, you know, there's that. And I can even put my own gun together. Fantastic. There we go. So put the gun back together. There we go. Put back there, it just refers to process. And, uh. Get in there. Here we go. <gasps> Dropped it. But I got it. Okay, putting the gun back together. There we go. Oh, why aren't you going back together? Here we go. And then put the pin back in. 
Come on. Come on, gun. Work with me here. You fool. Here we go. Now the gun is back together. Yep. The, that is actually locking back. So. Also, I also made some attachments for this gun. Let me put the magazine back in. I also gave it an extra magazine. So you could do this to reload. Ugh. <laughs> and also, the very famous two-stage looking suppressor that almost MAC-10s are usually seen with for some reason. I think it looks cool, so it's almost legendary status. There we go. Now the gun barely fits in the frame. Oh yeah, just why not add more to the length and just extend the stock. Goodness gracious. It seems like a little TMP at this point. Oh, jeez. Whoa, my gun. Oh my gun broke, what the heck? Oh, no. Oh, there you go. Fix it. Yeah, there we go. You got a long gun now. <sighs> Some people hold it by a suppressor by wrapping cloth. I don't care. There we go. <laughs> this gun's... Oh, goodness gracious. Uh, so let me just you know, track the stock real quick. So there we go. You have a uh, Mac 10. Um, some machine gun. Open the bolt just for the fun of it. Yes. Why not? So, my name is Tamman. I was just happy I prefer, as always. Be chill. <laughs>